y'all. Can you hear now? My bad. I think y'all can hear me now. Okay. Anyways, my bad. I always forget to do that, but I just felt like going live because I wanted to go live on TikTok. And I also wanted to make like one of those videos where I do my makeup so I can catch up with y'all, but um, they're so annoying to make. Like it takes so long to edit it down to three minutes. So I just wanted to um, come on here. <laughs> Um, I forgot how, like, bad the camera quality is. Also, take a look at my hair because tomorrow it's going darker. Mm-hmm. But I just want to do my makeup on live. You look so good. Oh, thank you. You need to start streaming games. I know, I know I came on here last time and said, oh, I'm going to play The Last of Us. But then I literally, like... I don't know what happened. I just like could not fucking do it. I couldn't do it. But I do want to play Five Nights at Freddy's because I'm really getting into FNAF right now, guys. Um, and I, I've been watching like all the lore. When do you graduate? Technically, I'm graduated, but I haven't like got my diploma yet. So, yeah, guys, I'm fresh out of high school. You should play horror games. I'm just, like, genuinely so scared to play. Are you excited for the new movie? Yes. I, that's that's what's kind of making me tap into the, uh, the FNAF lore and all that. Because I've known, like, a couple of things, like, a couple of important, um, of, I don't want to say events, but, like, I've, been, I've just been trying to like actually get the lore down and learn about it because it's so interesting to me. Your hair is so long now. I know, I've been trying to not to cut it because I like how I look with short hair, but um, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, guys, and I'm, I'm gonna keep the length. I'm just getting it darker. Congrats on graduating. Thank you, guys. Um, let me post on my Instagram that I'm going live and then I'll actually get started. Wait. Y'all, that was a horrible picture. Jesus. <laughs> Hold up. Just give me a sec and I'll I'll keep talking. Let me add a link. Wait, how do I Twitch dot TV slash Wait, y'all, I don't even know how to... I think I did it. Anyways. <sighs> Love the Enya case. Thank you. Thank you, Wildflower, too, because they sent it to me. This was the one case that I wanted because I love their cases, but I feel like this one is so different because the color, it's not all, like, cutesy pink well, I do love cutesy pink, like y'all see my room, but I just love the camo, and I've been sewing the camo. Um, and I just love the little drawing. Um, it's been so long, I know. Are you going to college? So basically, I have no idea. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. I'm gonna try this Say Beauty like glow stuff, just a little bit of it. Um, I have no idea like what I wanna do for like my like I don't want to pick uh what's it called like I don't know what I want to major in any of that and I'm not gonna like go to an expensive university um I'm not gonna go to an expensive university I can't see it though huh I'm not gonna go to ex an expensive university if I have no idea what I want to do. So I'm literally just gonna do online slash like a community college. So it's way cheaper. You know? Um, I went to college right after high school and I wish I took a gap year to figure shit out to be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my gen eds and honestly, if the first semester I'm like, damn, I'm not ready for this, I don't want to do this, then we'll go from there. But I'm not gonna pick something so expensive when I literally have no idea what I'm doing because then I'm wasting my money and yeah
I'm on my second gap year right now because I don't know what I want to do with life. And that's fine. I have thought about taking a gap year, but I just know me, myself, like, I would just fucking rot in bed all day. Now I'm going to use this um, Rare Beauty. This camera quality is so bad. Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. <laughs> do y'all want to know the shade? It's 16C. Um, and I've been using this, like, every day for summer because... It has sunscreen in it. Military, um, that's not for me. I'm kind of majoring in business right now and it wasn't even what I initially wanted to do. Yeah, and I know that you can switch up your major and stuff, but I just like don't, I don't know. Maybe I will regret like not going to un a university, but at the same time, literally all of them, like, a lot of like of my friends are going away and stuff so i'll be able to visit them and also i don't know i'm just not i'm not rushing into anything and also i don't got the money to just be going to expensive ass colleges especially when i have no like no idea what i want to do you know what i mean i think it's pointless for me um how is creator clash bitch Haley ate and it was so fun. It was like the most fun trip I've ever been on. Genuinely. Um, I loved it. I like was literally, uh, I wish there was like something recording us or something because when we were in the crowd, we were literally like going fucking crazy. Like, I don't know when I've ever yelled that loud before. And it was just so fun. And it was so cool to meet all these, like, other creators that were there. And they're, like, not creators I'm just gonna fucking see at, like, a party in L.A. They were, like, cool creators. Like, I met Matt Pat guys. I don't even know. It was just cool. She killed it. She, she did. She killed it. It was actually like the coolest thing I've ever seen because it was like scary too. I don't know. And Haley, did, Haley beat her ass. I'm sorry. Am I allowed to say that? Um, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. I just got in. What's up? How are you? Y'all, I'm good. Also, I've been feeling, I'm just trying to update you guys on my life. I feel like I haven't really talked in a long time. I'm feeling a lot better in all ways, shapes, and forms. Like, physically, mentally, because I've been going to the gym, y'all. Mentally, um, I finally... Bitch, I literally was depressed for so long. Like, low-key, not like, like, whatever. But I had, like, a thyroid problem. And I swear to God, ever since I got that shit fixed, like, bitch, I've been so happy. So good. Um, you haven't streamed in so long. I know. Where's your top from? I believe it's from Radio Dolls. Um, I want being so bad, but they get greasy as hell. I know. I think it kind of depends on your hair type, but I literally have to wash my hair, like, every day because it gets... Oh, I can't figure out. Because they get so greasy or my whole head gets greasy fast. Um, but literally every single morning, one of the first things I do when I'm getting ready is wash my bangs and re-dry them. How many tattoos do you have? Just this one. I was going to get another on my birthday, like I had an appointment and everything, but then I chickened out because I was like, I have so much time. I'm not gonna get one on my birthday just cause I'm turning 18. How'd you find out you had a thyroid problem? Um, initially, I'm trying to think. It was like an immune system problem because, is that the word? I get strep throat like so much, like an un, like a not normal amount. And my doctor, pediatrician, I don't know what kind of doctor it was. They were like, um, we've been having a bunch of young girls come in with like similar problems and they all ended up having like thyroid problems. And so she like recommended me to go to this one place. I had to like get a glucose text test because a lot of my levels were weird. Um, and then I just ended up having Hashimoto's. That's, I don't literally, I literally don't even remember. It was like a while ago. Like I probably been on my medicine for like four months. 
This is the Rare Beauty blush. This, like, camera kind of sucks, but still. Start washing it once a week and use oil almost every day. My hair is greasy. It's not dry. Uh, trust me, guys. I don't know. My hairdresser tells me I can wash my hair as much as I want. If it gets greasy, I'm allowed to wash it. But, like, if it was, like not getting greasy and I just wash it every day it would be pointless like I don't wash it every day but like I try to wash it every other day but sometimes I just have to um Clara I miss you so much bitch I miss this shit too because I swear to god y'all are like my therapy sometimes <laughs> that sounds so cringy but I just love going on live and talking. It's so much fun. Also starts um, streaming Minecraft of Haley's World, the SpongeBob. Oh, thank you for the subscriber. Woo! <laughs> Guys, I got a subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that was random. How do you stay motivated to go to the gym? Um, I go with one of my best friends, so she kind of forces me to go and I'll force her to go. Like, we kind of have a system where we go, we just go together. Like, I don't know. And I just genuinely enjoy going to my gym because I used to go to a gym that was, like, not as nice as this one. And I liked going there, but at the same time, like, I kind of dreaded it. But now... I actually do pay, like, a lot, but I guess it's not a lot for, like, my town. Like, gyms in the city are probably so expensive, but, um, this place has, like, a sauna and, like, a nice locker room. Um, like, I can get ready there. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of fun to go there, and that's how I stay motivated. But I don't know, because sometimes, like, today I went... Um, and me and my friend were like, like, I can't do this today. And we just didn't really do as much as we normally do. But my friend went to this gym before me. And so I just kind of hopped into her, like, workouts. And, yeah, I think it's more fun when you go with someone. But some people like going alone, too, so... Claire, you actually kind of look like Claro right now. I feel like I genuinely look nothing like her, but I'll take that as a compliment. Do you have any fun trips planned for the summer? Nothing like officially planned as of right now. I do want to go to LA. I want to go to Huntsville. Um, I don't know. I might go to Florida with my friends. For my friend's birthday i want to go see my connecticut friends but like i don't know because it's a lot of money rest in peace peter hamza's cat Are you still friends with Hamza? Of course. He posted it on the Patreon. Peter died? I'm actually gonna ask him right now. That, he's probably just wanting clicks, y'all. I just asked if Peter died. When do you think you'll move out? I don't know because sometimes I'm like, damn, I really need to leave this house and move out. And then other times I'm like, I just want to go home, um, lay in my bed, being like, I don't know. I can't imagine moving out, but like sometimes I really want to. But I need more money if I'm going to move out. 
If I move out, like, I'm not gonna live in my small town. Who's Peter? That's Hamza's cat. I'm so confused because I don't get how... He hasn't answered yet. Would you go to LA? I mean, I would if it wasn't, like, fucking crazy expensive. But also, a lot of people... Um, a lot of people end up hating it, I feel like. Like, a lot of people will move there and then complain, but also... I don't know. Because I can't imagine, like, being that far from my family. But also, I can. I have thought about New York, but New York is too... Like, I don't know. I just don't think I'd really fit in in New York. And also... It's too, like, hectic for me. Everyone says it's very boring and just about partying. I mean, I'm fine with that. Um, no, but... I think whenever I visit, it's, like, the most fun of my life. But, like, I can imagine once you move there, it's obviously not the same. Because, like, I don't know. I've talked about it with friends. Like, when you visit, people will hit you, and be, hit you up and be like, oh, want to hang out? Like, want to do this, want to do that? But then as soon as you move there, it's not really the same. You know what I mean? I just got sunburned today, and I'm hoping I don't get sun poisoned. It happens to me every year. I moved to New York City last summer. It's honestly not that bad. You, you just have to know people. That's the thing, like, I don't know people that live in New York. Claire, how do you not care about what people think about you, and are you comfortable with being yourself? That is a deep question. Um, let me think about it for a sec. I mean, I wouldn't say I don't care about what people think of me. I'm not gonna, like, sit here and be like, bitch, I'm just myself because I do care about what people think. To be completely, let me think because I'm trying to like be um, inspirational, but at the same time, like, <laughs> uh, I am comfortable with being myself, but like, I feel like I can be myself, bitch. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> let me restart. Let me just think for a sec. Hmm. I feel... Y'all, I'm not good at this shit. I don't know why... Uh, let me think. <laughs> How do I not care about what people think? First of all, I don't care what people think. Um, But I also... It just depends on the person, okay? Like, if it's, like, a scary person. But half the time, I'm like, bitch, why the hell are you fucking concerned about me when you got this wrong with you and you got all this drama in your life? So-and-so doesn't like you. I don't like you. Like, why do you care about what I'm doing? Like, you're being a fan. I just... When people um talk about me or are, like, judging me, I'm like, why are you judging me? Because you have so much that you need to worry about within yourself. That's how I look at it most of the time. It kind of depends because obviously there's people that um, intimidate me. And if they judge me, I'm like, uh, you know what I mean? Um, you're 100% going to meet new people if you go, though. Yeah, but then at the same time, I'm not going to college there. So I just feel like it'd be hard for me to make friends. Come to Toronto. I did love Toronto. It was really nice. What are your style slash outfits like right now? Honestly, kind of boring because in the summer I have trouble um, making like cool outfits because it's so hot and like you can't really layer. Um, I'm not going anywhere special so it's not like I'm gonna wear a fucking mini skirt. I don't know and in my town like I just, I do wanna move out of my town because I feel like I would be able to flourish I'll be able to flourish, guys, but, like, I'm too scared to leave this town. Also, it looks like I'm not wearing any blush on camera, but, like, in person, you can see it way better. Do you miss for Freak Show? To be honest, yes and no. 
That's my answer. I don't feel like getting into that right now. But like, if I lived in the city or somewhere where I was more comfortable dressing up, then I would be like, I would be dressing because I do have a lot of cute clothes. Your tattoo's so cute, thank you. Claire, I need to listen to your Spotify playlists. My Spotify is kind of dead right now. I haven't been listening to a bunch of music. Please start a YouTube channel. Bitch, oh my God, I have to tell y'all about this. I got a good idea the other day for like a YouTube thing. So basically, there's this, um, this town in Illinois called Watsika. Hold up. Y'all, after the gym today, me and my friend went to, um, <laughs> we went to Dunkin', McDonald's, Taco Bell, and then, like, my Taco Bell has a Pizza Hut, and we got all four of those things after the gym. Anyways. <laughs> What's your username on Spotify? It should just be, if you search my name, it might pop up. But, um, wait, what was the question? Oh, I remember what I was going to talk about. So basically, there's this town in Illinois called Watsika. And I used to go there when I was little a lot because a lot of my family lived there. And so I'm very familiar with this town. It's a really small town. But the other day, me and my friends and like my sister were talking about all like we wanted to do like some scary shit. Like there honestly near me is a lot of places that are like haunted or just like creepy People have had weird experience, um, experiences there. You've grown up so much. I'm emo right now, bitch. Me too. But honestly, I feel, I feel like I'm the same age. Um. Oh, so whatever. We were trying to do some scary shit. Be scared. Like go ghost hunting or something. We were just bored. Cause me and my friends like to random not. Cause we just want something. We want to do something scary. But there's not um. There's not much in my town, so we'll just like rando not, cause there's like a lot of cornfields and stuff, whatever. So we were talking to my sister about it and she was like telling us all these places and my dad was like, y'all need to go to the Roth house. And y'all tell me why this town I used to go to, really small town. I don't know if this is true, but this is what it said on Google. It said that this town had the first ever documented exorcism or like possession ever like in the u.s or in in america and i was like how have I, how did i not know this and so you can like rent out this house guys um it's like an airbnb now but people will go there and try to like do like scary stuff whatever but i was telling my dad i was like i actually really 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 think it would be fun if we like if me and my friends did that um and tell me why I didn't know that in this like town I used to always go to that there was like an actual like documented exorcism or something in this damn house. Um, but yeah, and I was telling my friends, I was like, we should go there this summer, rent it out. And like, I was like, we should like try and do some scary shit and film it for YouTube. Wouldn't that be so like, I don't know, that would be so funny. But that is so weird to me that like no one felt the need to fucking tell me about that. Have you ever found anything cool in random nodding? No, because me and my friends will literally, when you have to set your intentions, will be like, scary, scary, horror, horror, horror. And then nothing will happen. But like, also, it takes us to a lot of places that are like no trespassing. And every time I'm like, y'all, let's go in. And my friends are like, we can't. It says no trespassing. And I'm like, <sighs> like, whatever. But, um... Uh, where did I put? Hold up, guys. I'm looking for my bronzer. Wouldn't that be fun? Have you ever had an experience with a ghost? I don't think so, personally. Um... I don't like recall anything like specifically to me bitch i I've, I've been telling y'all for like years now that my old house was haunted 
Um, there's stories about it, but I'm not telling y'all. I used to live in a house that was around since, like, the 1800s. Um, and my dad, like, when he bought it, it was, like, falling apart. And, like, there was weird shit in the house. Like, in the garage, there was jars of animal blood. And, like, what's the star with the circle? Like, painted in the bedroom with, like, red paint. Weird shit. It was, like, a really big, nice house, though. And my parents bought it because it was, like, really cheap. Because it was literally, like, falling apart. But then my parents bought it and, like, fixed it up and made it really nice. But, like, I used to have so many weird experiences in there. So do my siblings. My siblings have had a lot of weird experiences, like, and my dad has talked about it. But I was, like, too young. I was really fucking scared of the house, though. Like, I w me and my sister shared a room and we were, like, scared to sleep alone. Like, we had a bunk bed and I would always just go sleep on the bottom with her. But y'all, it was scary. What's your favorite makeup product right now? Probably either this glitter by Urban Decay. This camera quality is so bad in Cosmic. Or I've been really into Benetton because I've, it's almost gone. I've had it for a while and I've used it for so long, but I've just been appreciating it more recently. Also, I think, um, this is random. If you, oh, if you subscribe now, I have emotes. And they all finally loaded in. Because I think last time I was live, I was like, y'all, use my emotes. And then, um, like, only two of them were there. But there's four of them right now. The more you know, the better. I'm saying it again because I really want you to see it. One time in 2020, my cousins and friend thought, and I thought there was an intruder and we were hiding in the bathroom singing Claire Drake, Claire Drake. I just thought you should know that. Bitch, what did I do? Uh, y'all see the emote down there? Oh, where is the chat? Right there. Do you guys see the emotes? But thank you, Vic, for the subscribe. And now they have the emotes. I don't know. Maybe. Wait, can you use the emotes without being subscribed? I don't know how it works. I'm not familiar with Twitch anymore, but I have been. I played on Haley's Minecraft world um, and she's been like, let's stream, let's stream. It's just hard because I'm always busy because it's always at nighttime and I'm always like not in my house. But I I do want to um, stream on there because y'all saw the SpongeBob I built. If y'all were on her um, her live, then you saw it. Let me wipe off this powder. Rest in peace, Freak SMP. Freak SMP was like the most fun thing ever. But one thing about me is that Minecraft genuinely, oh my god, I like literally wasn't going to put on any makeup today. Now I'm just kind of going crazy because it's so fun. <laughs> um, Farik SMP genuinely made me so angry. Like Minecraft makes me so angry when bitches don't know how to fucking act aka Hamza on Freak SMP didn't know how to act. Like whenever I was mad at him, it was real. And Hamza's little brother. I uh, I don't even want to get into that. Are you keeping the bangs or growing them out? I'm keeping the bangs. I'm getting them cut tomorrow because literally they're so long. I'm excited to get my hair done, but at the same time, I'm nervous because um, I don't want my hair to like fade in the sun. You were always so angry, but it was entertaining. I just, like, I genuinely get so angry when I'm playing Minecraft and someone wants to fuck with me. It's not funny to me, but, like, I don't know. Especially on survival. Like, survival is a different story. Can we appreciate Claire's Wi-Fi no lags? Oh my god, knock on wood because 
That probably just jinxed it. You should get microbangs that are so cunty. I would not. Oh, am I allowed to say that word on Twitch? No idea, but my bad, Twitch. Um, I'm good. I can't do that. I can't do microbangs. Now I'm just lining my eye with eyeshadow because it makes my eyes look bigger. I love your bangs right now. You style them so cute. Thank you. I like can't stay in them right now because they're so long. And they're so annoying because since they're longer, they like touch more of my face and then they get greasier faster. Kinda wanna do more eyeshadow than normal today. Also, this brush has some glitter on it, so it's like making my under eyes glittery. Sorry, I can't really, um, I can't really read the comments while doing this, but I'm almost done. Your wall behind you is so cute. Thank you. That's the other thing about moving out. I don't know how I'm ever going to move out. Like, because what am I even going to take? Like, I can't be taking shit off the walls in here. Would you ever dye your hair? Y'all, I'm dyeing my hair tomorrow. Just darker, though. Will someone take your room if you move out? No, they better not. No, all my... It's just two of my siblings have moved out. Julia just moved out, like, officially. Um, it's just me and my brother now. So no one's gonna, like, take my room. Also, if they did, shit would not roll with me. Okay. What did you use to hang all that up? I use like push pins or like the sticky like tack stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Your hair is already dark though. I'm not going much darker. It's just like, I don't like when I go in the sun and my hair is orange. You know what I mean? And also in this lighting, it looks darker, but it just gets so light. And I just want my hair to look good for graduation. And I'm just bored. I'm not going like black or anything. I think this like broke. How long are you streaming for? I guess until I'm done with my makeup or whenever I feel like it. I don't have anything to do until like a little over an hour. Are you going to start streaming more often? I really want to. I know that I always say that when I'm on here, but like it's summer and like when I have nothing to do, it's just fun. Watching this is therapeutic. Ah! I 
think I made that one even. Did you delete all your archive live from last summer or were they just temporary? I feel like they should be up. I made it so that they, maybe I deleted them, honestly. I don't know, I can check. But I don't know if y'all would be into me streaming more. I'll stream, but I just remember the last time I went live, literally like no one joined. And it was pretty awkward, if you ask me. Because, like, when the comments are dead, it's just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Um. Do you watch Emergency Intercom? I used to at the very beginning, but I just don't listen to podcasts. I'd rather listen to music. Um. The only podcast that I listen to is Tana Mojo's, but the only time I listen to it is when I'm in the sauna at the gym because it, it's so boring in there and I need to listen to something and my friend like forces me to watch it with her or listen to it with her. That's the only podcast I listen to. I'm just not a big podcast girl. I'd rather watch something. Did Hamza respond? Oh my god! Y'all! That's fucking awkward. He said, I bet you're happy. What the fuck? I thought y'all were pranking me. Um, I don't know how to move on from that. Y'all are fucking evil because I thought everyone was joking. Y'all are fucking evil. Uh, who just said <laughs> Peter popping pussy in heaven? Y'all are fucking heinous. I'm sending him that comment. Seriously, y'all. Okay, y'all just, let's stop talking about the cat. Oh wait, are the, oh, I accidentally paused the comments. Anyways. Y'all, are my comments like frozen or 
Are y'all just being dead? Cause what is going on? This is fucking awkward, y'all. He said, oh hell no, to that comment. <laughs> oh, I'm frozen? Y'all are just being dead? Fuck y'all. How does it feel being 18? Great, honestly. I love being 18. I turned y'all off. No, I didn't. Are there a lot of fake people in the influencer world? Yeah, there are. There are, there's fake ass hoes that pretend to be so fucking relatable on TikTok, but they're really just the biggest bitches in the world. Fuck y'all. What's your favorite movie? Mm, oh, this is my other favorite thing. This Urban Decay, like, glitter eyeliner is so pretty. I put it, like, right underneath my eye, and it makes my eyes look bigger. I'm about to take this fucking subscriber thing off because it's embarrassing. It says two out of five. How do I... Can I, like, hide that? Yeah, I'm about to hide that shit. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Two out of 75. <laughs> Y'all just love making fun of me. I miss GTA roleplay, you were so funny. I literally got permanently banned from that server because you would think it's from whenever I was messing with that guy, but once I had my friends over and one of my friends literally went on the server and was like fucking punching cops and shit, and then he got me banned. Proud to be one of those two. You see, I really appreciate it. more GTA. I don't really I want to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Would y'all like that or no? Now it's time for mascara. Oh. You better go see that FNAF movie. I literally will see it opening day. Or whatever it's called. Sorry, I can't talk and answer question as much as questions as much when I'm um doing shit on my eyes. Did you have senior prom yet? Yeah, I'm like done with school. I haven't like graduated yet officially, but um, yup. Opinions on the Barbie movie? I like hadn't been following along at all, but the other day I saw the trailer and it actually looks really good. I'm about to hide my face real quick. See, don't you guys want Muse as an emote? Are you going to watch the new Spider-Man movie? 
There's a new Spider-Man movie? When? Are you going to Lollapalooza? Yeah, I'm going just to see Lana, though. Like, I only got a one-day ticket. The one, not last summer, but the summer before that, I got, like, a four-day, and I was dead. I only went to three of the days because I couldn't go to one, but... It was so much fun. Oh my god, this eyelash is being annoying. Oh, it's the mo- okay. I didn't know that that was coming out, but I'll go see it, of course. Fave new Lana song from Tunnel Under Ocean Blood. Honestly, this is everyone's favorite song, but I just love Let the Light In so much. Um, it's just so fucking good. Like, everything about the damn song works, and it's so fun to sing. I don't know. I just, like being able to sing it because some of the other songs are too like i don't know what the word is i don't know i don't need to keep going but i really like let the light in call me basic All right, I'm almost done with my makeup. Sorry, like I said, it's hard for me to... Um... What was the class where you banged drumsticks on an exercise ball? That was outdoor education. It was just like, we, we did drums alive randomly one day. I don't know why. Or we did it like a whole week. We'd like make up a routine and perform it. Claire, have you let it linger recently? Honestly, I haven't recently. But, um... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to grab stuff. What do you ever do, Creator Clash? Against a certain someone, I would. Nah, I wouldn't. I, I'm too, like, I would not be able to do that. Like, that is not just something, like, a random person can try and pick up. I have to fix my lips. This highlighter is so good, guys. I recommend it. My friend had to drop me off at home because she had to, like, go do something for her, like, family member or whatever. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go lay. I'm going to lay in bed and then you can pick me back up. But, bitch, now I'm going to fucking be picked up with a full beat on. Like, I'm going to. She's probably gonna be like, what the fuck? Cause we were literally talking about what we, want, what we wanted to do today and we were both like, rot in bed.
sorry. I don't really like the face I'm- Bitch, is my tongue brown? I'm sorry, I like keep on- Y'all, I can only be like talking like consistently for so long and I just like don't have anything to talk- I feel like- Oh my god, my tongue is brown, but guys, it's because I'm drinking coffee. Anyways. I guess I'm finished with my makeup. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> whatever, but I guess I'll see you guys soon. I don't really know when I'll stream next. Be Real just went off. Y'all, I'll take my Be Real. Okay, I got y'all on my be real. Oh, I'm the first person I know to be posting mine too. Anyways, you came up on my be real recommendations. I think it was, I think we have a couple mutuals. I don't know if it was me because I changed my username like months ago because people kept on adding me and I'm sorry guys, but be real is just for me and my close friends. But, um, anyways, I'm gonna go live again soon. Like, really soon, I promise. Even if it's just like this. But I do want to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Really bad, I just... And I do want to stream on Haley's um, world. So we'll figure it out. And I will be going live soon. This time, I promise. I swear to God, this time I will go live. Um, because I know I'm always making empty... Or, what is it? Empty promises? Is that the phrase? I don't know. But I know I always say it. I promise. It's summer. What else am I going to do? But I will say this week is kind of busy, but I'll squeeze it in, guys. But thank you for joining. This was a really fun live, and I needed this. Y'all know I always have to do it. <laughs> All right. Ah! Bitch, see you in months. Fuck you. I'm going to be back soon. Bye.